I'll just simply copy this and paste it over here. And we'll call this as a 2022. Good. Similar fashion, we'll do it here as well. 2020. And I'll hit the enter button over here. We'll select this and double click over here. Okay. So what we want, we want a forecasting sales for the upcoming year, which is my this specific future date. Number two, it's very simple to add a formula. Formula is this forecast ETS. You can see at the top C2, comma, B2. Okay. And then entire range, which is B13, which is this entirely, full, comma, A2, which is this, right? This is your timeline, basically. And then we'll add as a A13. Okay, the selection has been done. You can see at the screen, right? Now the seasonality. Seasonality is basically 12, which is my month. And then we'll simply add a, it will show you the two values, right? Missing values treated as a zeros or automatic completion is with linear interpolation, right? So I'll just simply select this one. And at the end, we'll select a one because it's an average for us, right? So once it is done, we'll simply close this. And as soon as it is done, we'll hit a enter button. We got a result then and there. Right now, we are seeing this kind of an error. So what we have to do, I go, I have to add this as a F4. Cool. So once it is done, once again, hit a enter button. You can see the result at the bottom, right? So forecast is this. In case you want to plot this in a graph, what you can do, Let's select this entirely, do a control X here, in this in a values format. Just select this entire range, go into a insert, recommended chart, okay. And then all charts, click here. Any of the chart, just select it, okay. Tool versus forecasting your sales, right? So, and you can just rename it here, actual, versus forecast in the same graph in Excel. Okay, very simple to add. And done, ETS handles train and seasonality for monthly data, right? I hope you found this useful folks. So please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.